We're seeing a few now, but as we head toward the weekend, weather's going to be good. No reason not to come out and check it out. But for now, scattered showers. And yes, you know what's going to be interesting is figuring out tonight how much snow we can get in some of these northern areas because I don't think we're going to see major problems here, but I think two to four inches, three to six inches of snow in some of our real high mountain communities will be a possibility. We're getting reports of a few snow showers around Grants right now and up into the East Mountains as well. We're getting reports of some snow. And if you're in the East Mountains right around 7,000 feet up to about 8,000 feet, you've got a shot at picking up an inch or two of snow for tonight. So you can see those showers pushing now through the metro area over the East Mountains and Manzanos as we speak. Some of those scattered showers going over to snow into Grants. And as you get down to the south, scattered storms as well over the Sacramento Mountains where we could see a little bit of snow tonight and a few more showers in south central areas. Not a lot going on across the north, but in places like Los Alamos later on tonight, Red River, Angel Fire, all could see some accumulating snows. Again, don't think it's going to be a huge deal for you, but you will have to contend with a little bit of snow. And it's only 42 in the metro area right now. So this is a cold storm. West winds at 8 miles an hour. Temps across the north, 40s and 50s down to the south, anywhere from the 70s in Carlsbad all the way down to the 40s in Rudeau. So winds are still a factor, will be a bigger factor tomorrow. 32 mile an hour gust, Clovis, 30 in Tucumcari, 26 in Las Vegas. Here is our storm. It is huge in size, but as you can see, it's not producing a tremendous amount of precip across the southwest, but what it is doing is giving us scattered showers across Arizona and New Mexico, and we're going to hold on to those throughout the overnight hours and into tomorrow. So as this storm slides on through here, look for the scattered showers and, yes, snow to accumulate in the higher elevations as it slides through for tonight and early tomorrow. And again, I don't see enough precip to cause big problems, and as we head toward Saturday, and this is why we think the gathering of nations will be fine, because you're going to have a situation where we're going to start to clear out late tomorrow, and then Saturday looks pretty good, Sunday looks pretty good with temperatures rebounding, eventually going to end up in the low 70s, but we are going to have to watch for some gusty winds. The areas that you see here in the darker shades of green here, this is what we're looking at for gusty winds tomorrow. East central, southeast, talking about winds 25 to 35 miles an hour, and we'll continue to see those winds into tomorrow night, gusty around the valley, and then shift south across southeastern sections late tomorrow. So overall, winds are another factor for us, and then they'll start to calm down. They'll come out of the northwest over the weekend, and overall, the weather situation will improve into the weekend. So region by region for you, here's how it all shakes out. Northwest, we are going to see scattered showers for tonight. Some accumulating snows in the southern San Juans and San Juans of Colorado, but mainly scattered rain showers at the lower elevations, and then we warm up into the 40s and 50s for tomorrow. Things start to clear by Saturday. Across the southwest, scattered showers, 50s and 60s, gusty winds for tomorrow once again. In the southeast, a few storms for tomorrow are a possibility with temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Roswell extended forecast looks pretty good for the weekend. Temps in the mid-70s all the way to the 80s into next week with the chance of another storm late next week. Across the northeast, we will have that possibility of a little bit of snow along the east slopes of the Sangre de Cristos tonight. Otherwise windy with spot rain possible across the northeast. Northern mountains, again, watch out for a few inches of snow tonight. And throughout the day tomorrow, could see a little bit of isolated thunder out there as well. Shouldn't be a big deal. Just 47 tomorrow in Santa Fe, feeling more like winter than late spring. East Mountains temperatures in the 50s. Again, that possibility of some snow showers above about 7,000 feet tonight and into tomorrow. Metro area, partly cloudy spot rain again for tomorrow. A lot like today with some gusty winds at times. Seven-day forecast, breezy. And we're going to keep those winds going at times here. But overall... This is a situation where we contend with a little bit of rain and a lot of wind. All right. Thank you, Mark. And we're following.